Welcome! This video will guide you step by step through the process of photographing and editing your images with the Datacolor Spider Cube. To begin, set the Spider Cube into your lighting environment. Make sure the Spider Cube is close to your subject so it is within the same light. This can be done by hanging Spider Cube from the attached loop, having someone hold it, placing it on a flat surface, or mounting it on a tripod or light stand. Capture an image with the spider cube. Make sure the chrome ball, two white faces, two gray faces, black face, and black trap of the spider cube are visible in your frame. From here, remove the spider cube and continue to photograph in this lighting environment. If the lighting changes, make another reference image with the spider cube. After you have captured all of your desired images, upload them to your computer. Before moving on, please verify your monitor is calibrated to ensure what you see on screen is accurate. Open an image that contains the spider cube in your preferred image editing software. We recommend you turn on exposure warnings if your editing software has this feature. Your histogram will also be a valuable reference while editing. To start, zoom in on the spider cube and visually determine which of the gray faces is brighter. The side that is brighter represents the side that faces the primary light source. With your white balance eyedropper, select the brighter gray face to remove the color cast inherent in the image. If both faces appear similar in brightness, select any one of the gray faces. Next, adjust the exposure so there is no out of gamut warning on the white face directed toward the primary light source. Adjust the exposure so the white face is just below 100% white, roughly 96%. Then, adjust the black slider until the black trap is about 100% black. To ensure well-exposed shadows, adjust the shadow slider until you have clear definition in the black trap and the black face. This should also adjust the black face to be roughly 4% black. Not every editing software will have dedicated black and shadow adjustments. The principle to follow is to use the adjustments in your software so your black trap is about 100% black and there is clear definition between the black trap and the black face. You have now used the spider cube to adjust your photograph's white balance and exposure. Zoom out from the spider cube portion of the image and make any final adjustments. With a reference point for white balance and exposure, you can now save these settings and apply them to all of your images taken under the same lighting. In most programs, you can select this as the image to use to sync other images with. In some programs, you will have to save the settings from the spider cube image as a preset to apply to your other images from the same lighting. Congratulations! You have successfully used Spider Cube to accurately and efficiently edit your images. For more information, please visit spider.datacolor.com. 